Hi guys, what's up? This is Zura and today I want to talk about three methods from array prototype added in ES6. Filter, map and reduce. Filter method accepts a callback and returns new array. The callback is called on each element of the array, accepts the element as an argument and returns true or false whether this particular element should be included in the uh, new array or not. I, I have numbers from 1 to 7 and I want to create new array which has only even elements. So I use a uh, filter method on my array, uh, passing their callback and the callback accepts a single argument, the element of the array, and I should return true or false whether this particular element should be included in my array or not. I'm going to use shorthand syntax and just write if my particular element is even, return true. This gives me a new array and when I print it only has even elements. 2, 4, and 6. The purpose of the map method is to map each element from the original array into a new element and create a new array with all mapped elements. The callback of the map method accepts also a single argument which is called on every element of the original array and whatever is returned from the callback is considered as a new mapped element in this new array. If you don't return anything from the callback, it will be considered as undefined, but it will still be included in the new array. Let's use map method on this example. So if I leave my callback function as it is right now, elements of the array will be either true or false, depending on what is the number. So it's true for uh, 2, 4, and 6, and it's false for um, the rest of the elements. Let's modify callback of the map so that it returns square of uh, past element. And the new element will have the squares of each element from the original array. What about reduce? Reduce method works slightly differently. The purpose of the reduce method is to reduce all elements of the original array into single either primitive value or object. The callback function of the reduce accepts two arguments. And uh, on the first call, the first argument is the first element of the array, and second argument of the reduce callback is the second element of the original array. Then reduce, uh, whatever is returned from the reduce, this value is considered as a new element of the original array and in the next execution of the callback function of the reduce then uh, the new element calculated element and the third element from the original array um, are passed as the first and second arguments uh, of the reduce callback. Let's look at the uh, following example. We have uh, four elements in the array and reduce is called uh, just three times um, totally for this example. Let's imagine that uh, the purpose of the reduce method is to uh, calculate the sum of all elements. Then on the first execution of reduce which accepts two arguments, 47 and 11, it calculates the sum of these two elements and returns the sum, which is uh, 58. Then on next execution, uh, the first arg argument will be 58 and second argument will be the third element of the original array, which is 42. Then the sum, calculated sum is 100 and on third execution of reduces callback, 113 are passed as first and second arguments of the Redis callback and the calculated sum is 113. Let's experiment on reduce. We have numbers um, you know, 1, 2, 4 and 8 
and we want to see what happens when we use reduce on the numbers array. First of all, I don't return anything from my uh, reduce. I'm just printing uh, number one and number two, first and second arguments of the reduce callback. My console log statement is executed three times. First, uh, the number one and number two uh, is one and two. Second, the first argument is undefined because um, undefined was actually uh, returned from the uh, first execution of the callback. And second argument is four, and then uh, undefined and eight. So if I return the sum of these two numbers, and I just comment my console log statement, uh, I need to save some somewhere and print it. My sum is 15. Very often, reduce is used with other methods like map or filter, or it can be other methods. Let's use reduce method on our previous array. First, I'm going to filter my array and create new array which has only even numbers. Then I'm going to call um, map on the new array and return square of uh, squares of each number. And this will give me uh, the square for 2, uh, 4, and 6. Let's print this so far. And we see squares of each number. And then I'm going to call reduce method, which accepts uh, callback and the callback accept, accepts two arguments. And I'm going to return their sum. And the final value will not be new array, it will be a single value because my reduce reduced all elements of the new and filtered array into a single value. And the value is the sum of all uh, squares of even elements of the original array. It's 56. Let's do one more real world example. Let's imagine that I have orders for different users. Right now, for simplicity, I have only two users uh, with user ID 1 and user ID 2. And each of them have has uh, two orders. And I want to calculate the total amount of orders for user 1. First of all, I need to filter my orders array for user ID 1. Orders, filter. return if order user ID equals 1. This will give me a new array. Then I'm going to map my order array into a new array which has only amount. I don't care uh, user ID anymore. I want only amount. I'm going to call map on this new array which takes uh, order and just returns uh, order amount. Okay, let's print the result so far. My A element has uh, only 10 and 15, which are the actual amounts for orders for user ID 1. And after this, I'm going to call reduce method which accepts two argument, which accepts callback, and the callback accepts two arguments, and I'm returning their sum. And my new variable, which I just called sum, has the uh, total amount of orders for user ID 1. That's all about filter, map, and reduce method so far. I hope uh, I helped you understanding even a little bit of uh, how they work and when you need to use them. 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. See you in the next time.